Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel and subscribing to my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. Uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at Apple's Logix Pro um, AU Pitch, uh, which is uh, a pretty cool little effect you can put on your, uh, your tracks. Uh, it's really easy to set up. Uh, let me show you the one that I set up. So, when the track plays, um, the sound pretty much just goes straight, and then at this point, it drops down slightly, uh, minus 18.9 cent, and then it stops right here, and then stays at minus 170.1 uh, cent. So, anyway, um, cool thing about this is, is you can, you know, automate the pitch in your, in your track. Um, so you can make it higher, or you can make it lower. And all you have to do to do that is just take your mouse and let's say you've created points. You can create points by using your pencil tool and just clicking on the screen. So that's what I did here. I clicked here and um, then switch toggle back to your arrow and then just grab that point and with your left mouse button, hold it down your left mouse button and slide it up. And what you'll be able to do is then you'll automate the pitch to even drive it higher. has some pretty cool potential to use in your, in your song. Um, so <clears throat> let me show you how I actually, um, how I did that. So how I did that was, um, it's actually really easy to do. First of all, um, create, create your, your track, okay? Then come over to the left side of the track, um, under inserts, hold down your left mouse button in one of the gray squares, Okay, and just hold down your left mouse button and select audio units, Apple, select AU pitch, and then select the stereo. Check. Then what you have to do is click on the automation button up here, because normally this is how it's going to look. Click on the automation icon at the top, and it'll show you the automation for that track, and it'll also include the automation options below, which is what you see down here. Once you do that, um, just click on the gray box here. It's not going to say, um, you know, for a U pitch just yet. Um, just click on it with your left mouse button and select um, a U pitch, and then you'll see a sub menu open up to the right. Um, hold down your, keep holding down your left mouse button. Scroll over to that sub menu and select pitch. Let go of your mouse button. What you've just done is you've just assigned the AU pitch function to this track. So when you first assign it, it's just going to show up like a straight line across, and that's set at the normal level for your sound. So no positive pitch and no negative pitch. It's just a straight, regular, your regular sound with no effects on it at all. Once you do that, just take your pencil, like I said earlier, and click wherever you would like to um, add some, you know, a pitch increase or a pitch decrease. So I'm just going to do it right here and play it so you can hear. Okay, so, so that's what it sounds like. Now I'm going to play this with another one of my tracks that's supposed to play along with it so you can, uh, you can hear um, what it sounds like together. Now I'm going to put in another track that also plays with it.
So that's just to give you an example of um, how you can use um, the AU pitch function um, to, you know, funk up your song a little bit and, um, and get a little different vibe to it. So thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and stay tuned for more videos.